It's not how you come to Jesus, how you leave. Yeah. And I say, whosoever will, let them come. Don't try to say, well, I just want to, I'm going to do a couple of things, then I'm going to come to God. No, come right now. Empty the pocket. Let it go. Let it go. See, the hardest part of people, the reason why they can't come to God, they can't let it go. That day you really make up your mind that you're going to give God and give him your heart and all that. That's when you're going to catch the most hell. Come on, Mr. T. I know y'all know who that is. I pity the fool who don't open up their Bible, okay? Now, nah, but on a more serious note, I just seen this video and I got super excited because it's like, yeah, I can feel the fire off of that. And he said a lot of key things like we need to be laying down our lives for the Lord. We need to be giving him all the glory and honor because he's worthy and he deserves it. And a lot of people like to say, I'm going to come to Christ when I get ready or I want to go back out and, and have a couple more fun times with, with my friends. They don't want to let things go. And it's like we have to really sit down and think, look at the, how this world is going. Look at how this world is going. Do you really think that we have time? Do you really think that we have time to say, let me go back out here and party a little bit more and then I'll give my life to Christ? That one last time could cause you your life especially if you're dealing with the spirit of addiction. You know, I used to go to rehab all the time. I was in rehab for like, I would go, I, I went to rehab at least 16 times. And they would always say, if you go back out there, it could be your last time. They emphasize on that so heavy because when you're involved with drugs, you might get something bad, your heart could stop, just anything. And so for me, it didn't take rehab to save me. It took me surrendering to Jesus Christ. It took me to lay down my life and say, Lord, you can have it. However you want me to live, what you want me to do, tell me to go, I'll go. That type of surrender is what allowed me to get delivered from drugs. He also said a lot of people can't let things go. And yes, it is a process. When you come into Christ, you have to go through deliverance because, you know, their strongholds over your life. So that first surrender, when you say, okay, I wanna give it to God, you will go through deliverance right then and there. And then the more that you read, you'll go through deliverance and the more you'll just be transformed. A lot of people can't let things go because there's a stronghold in their life. But I'm telling you, if you surrender on today and say, Lord, I'm tired of doing it my way. If you are seeing this message, this is not it's not just a coincidence. I don't believe in coincidences in God. Give your life to Christ. Surrender, fully surrender and submit to him. And watch how your life changes, okay? I love you guys. Have a good day.